Whoa, get it. Hello. Rico. Yeah. Rico. Yeah. What's a white bitch screaming? Yo, look. Recording two videos in one day. Yes, I'm wearing the exact same thing. No one cares. I got this jacket from a thrift store. Period. Okay. So, welcome to my channel. This is Aesthetically Amber TV. I'm Amber, and you are tuning into the Confessions of a Tall Black Girl. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, how you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social medias in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Snapchat. I don't really be on Twitter, but I be on Snapchat and Instagram. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, today's video is basically about what it's like as a tall girl dating a tall guy. First of all, I just said some shit that sounds super foreign to a lot of us tall girls. Tall girls actually get tall niggas? Yes, you short, stupid bitch. We do. Um, but it's very hard to find them because number one, let's start from the beginning. We're tall and most guys typically want a girl that's shorter, right? So it sucks like when you're dating a guy that's like six foot, and you're just like, fuck, I'm six two. I'm 6'2", my ex was six foot, and that shit was like, it was very obvious in some points that he was shorter than me, but whatever. And then, like, all right, so let's go on from there. So then you got the short nigga, and then you got the tall niggas, excuse me, that like short girls and want they girlfriend to look like they child. And I'm just like, we could create a damn, the next LeBron out here. But you playing, you want to be with fucking this little short bitch down the street when we could be creating LeBron James. Hello. But um, I digress. And then, you know, what always ends up happening as a tall girl, when you try to date a tall guy or people try to set you up with tall guys, they end up setting you up with somebody that's big as shit. Now, I don't discriminate, but I do. Um, I don't see nothing wrong with somebody wanting to date somebody that's bigger. But if you know me, I am skinny. I'm starting to finally fill out and get thicker. But like, overall, my ass is a twig. So I can't be with somebody that's like 300 pounds and 6'5". Six, six, that's just not going to work. Um, it... it Aesthetically, it doesn't look right to me. There's just so many things with that. But it's just like when you when you do end up finding that one chill tall nigga that you talk to, girl. Let me just say that shit is fire. Oh my god. Whew. But see, like the only downside of dating a tall nigga is they know that they're a hot commodity. Everybody wants to date a tall nigga. Like short bitches that be like four two, be like I want my nigga is six ten, and I just be like, the fuck do you need with a six ten nigga? Your nigga could be five two, and you would still look short. Like come on. So like perfect example of the weird shit that happens with tall niggas is they will date these little people like i over the summer i got hit i got hooked and you can ask my brother i got hooked to um little people atlanta first of all they're funny as shit the little people y'all should go watch that especially atlanta atlanta is popping this is not a paid promotion i really just fuck with the show but um yeah, that shit was fucking lit. So, like, y'all need to watch it. But anyway, they husbands is, like, six feet. Why? Why? Please explain why. Because I don't know why. But, um, but when you do find you a tall nigga that's, like, fucking, he wants you. Y'all want him. You want him. He looks aesthetically pleasing to you. It 
always be another tall girl that was fucking with him because we always be knowing like everybody wants a fine nigga and there's nothing more attractive than a fine tall nigga then there's nothing more attractive than a fine tall nigga that lays good dick Woo! lord you just do something to you you just be like yeah, I'll pull up on the late night because it'd be valid and you, it'd be cute and you don't have to worry about being too tall when y'all laying down. He's way taller. Oh, perfect example. I met this guy in a club. It was popping or whatever. And I had on what? Some three, four inch heels? Didn't even matter. My nigga was 6'10". It, it was bomb. I've never felt like that before in a club in heels where I could dance with somebody in my heels, not have to squat down for real because they're already that tall. Huh. And he was a nigga that didn't like short bitches. Oh, Lord have mercy. They're a real commodity, but um, yeah, dating a tall nigga is fine. Um, it's just, you always have to deal with the ego of they know that people want them. So they will sit here and bullshit you from time to time because they know that you're going to come back. Especially if you're a tall girl that's pretty, but you running into ugly niggas. Oh my God. They will really be like dogging the shit out of you. But, um, I digress. This video is a lot shorter because it's very rare that a tall girl ends up with a tall nigga. And, like, you know, it sucks. But, hey, whatever. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If there's anything that I missed, put it in the comment section below. Because I know some of y'all tall girls have been blessed to date tall niggas. And I would love to hear the tea on that and what's that like. And yeah especially being a black girl it's so different um but yeah leave um your comments in the description and um the leave your comments below check the description box to see all my uh social media accounts follow the instagram page for this channel aesthetically amber tv follow my personal instagram amber salia underscore one underscore follow my snapchat amber with a three for the e um, underscore Celia. Follow my Twitter, Amber underscore Celia. Yes, everything is Amber underscore Celia or some point. But yeah. Um, love y'all and see y'all later. Peace.